Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. I'm going to be doing a lager review today. Now this bottle of lager was paid for by Pete and Dawn. You may remember last week or a slightly over a week ago they sent a Mark's and Spencer's voucher which I got some pork chop and I did a, a meal with that or a special sandwich with that. Um, I got this as well with that money and it's been in the fridge all this time. So I'm going to be trying it today. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit. It's 640 milliliters. Alcohol volume is 4.7 and it cost two pounds. Now, I don't know how to pronounce that, but you can see that it's a Chinese, uh, it's brewed in China. Uh, imported premium lager from China. There you go. So I'm going to... Uh, Take the top off. I'm going to pour some in the... Oh, it's actually a... Sort of a pale... Golden colour. There you go. That's a little bit there. Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like a Lucasade sort of colour. Hmm. I must admit... Doesn't smell like any kind of lager that I've had before, but uh, here we go. It's actually, it's actually quite pleasant. It's not as bad as I've uh, as I thought it was. Being, a, I figured, you know, what do the Chinese know about making lager, right? But. It's quite, it's got a sort of a crisp taste to it, you know. Yeah, crisp but smooth but not too sharp. It's quite, it's actually quite pleasant. I mean, for two pound for 640 millilitres, which is not uh, 640, maybe somebody can write in a pint is like 600 and something 650 something i think anyway uh so it's around the point yeah yeah i think with more than one of these i would have to start drinking with lemonade but it's not too uh it's quite a yeah it's very surprisingly not bad flavor yeah so i think next time i uh buy a lager i might well go with this again you know but it, it needs some like i say it needs some lemonade and it's uh 4.7 so it's it like you know the lower end and uh okay well anyway so if you wanted if you were to try this marks and spencer's doing it for two quid you'd probably get it uh, slightly cheaper other places that um you know other supermarkets but uh you know worth a go don't be put off by all the you know the fact that it's chinese uh because you know Normally, although most of our beers are foreign, there's uh, you know a Chinese lager is not something I would probably gravitate to. But uh, anyway, there you have it. Hopefully that'll be a screensaver, and this is it's going to be a short one now, just under three and a half minutes. Anyway, thank you for watching. And last thing, just a quick shameless plug. There's the uh, P.O. box if you want to send any mail, postcards, um, you know, because postcards are good because, uh, you know, if you want any shout outs or anything like this, put them on there and the stamps will go to a uh, charity to train dogs for people who have uh, different ailments, autism and epilepsy and all that kind of stuff. So uh, there you go. August 28th. 2019 is the finishing date for that. Thank you for watching.